Hey everyone, this is Mike. And this is Josh. And today we are doing a trailer reaction yeah. to a movie that Josh turned me on to that he said, hey, have you seen this preview yet that had, uh, I think it's got Shelly Duvall in it, right? Yeah, and uh, also it has uh, Edward Furlong from Terminator 2 fame. Okay. And yeah, I saw the, um, I, when I started looking about it, I, I saw that it did have a trailer, so we're going to do a trailer reaction to it. But I think they said this is the first movie Shelley Duvall's been in, in like 20 years. Yeah. So it's, it's been a long time for her. And yeah. uh, she's she definitely looks, changed uh, a lot. Yeah, she's <laughs> aged. She's aged uh, not like a fine wine. That shining really took a lot out of her back in the day. Took the shine <laughs> off. <laughs> Check out the shining review if you haven't yet. Yes, and that's why we uh, I knew we was talking about Shelly Duvall was because we just did The Shining. So, yeah, go see that. Please like, subscribe, and uh, comment on this yes. video and all of our other videos. But let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Let's see this trailer, and um, we'll give our thoughts on it afterwards. Let's go. Hey, how you doing? This is Rico again. I'm up in the beautiful mountains of the Catskills in upstate New York. I'm on a two-mile hike trying to get away from that boring Monday 9 to 5 job that we all hate. Every fucking time you do, you make a goddamn mess. Whoa. Yeah. Well, what we can do is prescribe you another medication, one that may make you feel better. I just don't like the way they made me feel. Every day. I like that shot. I try to do my best. I do. And I know that you do too. I'm constantly struggling. Uh oh. Deep down inside, I. I'm trying to be something that I'm not. Rico! Yo, Rico. Billy! I need to see you, man. Hurry up, please. Where are you? What's up, man? Rico. Rico. You're a fucking murderer, Rico. Billy! Give me your medication. It's very important. I'm fucking saying things! You're the deep fucking shit right now. Okay? Your stories of hard work and courage have been I got blood so everywhere. Yeah. Oh, I'm especially it, proud of my brother right here, Rico. Killing people or Focus something else going on? This, man. I'll tell you what. That werewolf comes. Whoa. Bam! Any furlong with the Blow that motherfucker right away. away. Uh, For the one who wishes to be covered in fur. Rip flesh. Shed human skin. The inner wolf is ready to be released. For the one who wishes to be covered in fur, rip, flesh, shed human skin. Okay, very Whoa. interesting. Um, so definitely saw a werewolf in there. You saw blood, you saw a knife. You saw transformation. Transformation, remind me a little bit of American Werewolf in London, not yep. quite as good yes. graphics. <laughs> but. Yes. I don't know about this one, Josh. Um, some of those key actors are, are really good actors. I couldn't tell by the feel of the film. It really didn't. I don't know. It didn't have that. I just hope it's not cheesy is what I'm trying to well, say, I guess. I definitely could tell it's not a major studio film. It's more low budget, but that doesn't mean it's a bad film. No, honestly. it doesn't mean that. Right. So, um, I mean, I'll probably give it a try if I, if I can. If it's on a streaming service, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, I like werewolf movies. I'm a big fan of werewolves. Always have been since I was a kid. That was my favorite, like monster growing up was werewolves. A uh, big fan. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know about this werewolf co uh, outfit that this guy has on. Uh, the one shot made it look like, uh, the head was like totally like, it didn't even, they didn't even try to make it real, real look realistic <laughs> in my opinion. Like there's like one shot and it just looks like there's like the body and like this huge head is sitting on this like 
person's shoulders. It doesn't even, it didn't look that good to me, but, and it's at night, so they can try to whatever, but um, I'd be interested to see what Eddie Furlong does. Like I said, I I, I was a fan of his because he was in Terminator 2. He was in American History X. He was awesome in that. Uh, he was in a couple other movies. He did have issues with uh, substances and stuff like that for a long time, but I heard that he's really cleaned up his act, and it's good to see him acting again. All right, yeah, I agree, Josh. I, I just I'm concerned that this movie could be a little cheesy. Uh, you know, we'll wait and see when it comes out. You know, it's probably going to be released not even at the theater, go straight to to yeah. DVD. I, yep. So it's not one of those you can go see it at the movie theater. But I, you know, I'm into horror movies, so if it's out, I'll at least start watching it. And if we don't like it, we'll cut it off, right? But, right. Uh, like, I mean, I know you said, "Oh man, I never heard this much language in a trailer," but. Um, yeah, that kind of that kind of blew me. I, I'm not into a lot of times when I see trailers, it's at the movie theater, so you're you're seeing the kind of you know polished versions, not the uh, the um, it's, it's most of the time a PG-13 or under version, not the <laughs> R-rated off the bat. But hey, it was uh, it definitely caught my attention. Well, it get, definitely not, it tells you what the movie is going to be like. So right. I mean, there it's a it's in a, obviously it's going to be rated R. It's going to be for adults. So. Um, if you don't like that kind of thing, then don't watch it. But if you do, if you don't mind it, then, you know, watch it, check it out. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on is the guy, the guy's obviously on a lot of medication. It looked like he was having like mental issues. Mm -hmm. Like maybe he's not even a werewolf. Maybe he's a killer. Maybe he thinks he's turning into this. Like Could be a twist. Yeah. yeah. Like, so, I mean, like I said, I am a little interested. I, I would check it out. So, um, let us know in the comments what you think about the trailer. Um, and as Mike said, like, comment, like, comment, subscribe. Also, if you know anybody that would like this kind of, uh, content, let them know to come subscribe to must see before you die. All right. Thank you, Josh. Thanks for your opinion. And like you said, please like subscribe, subscribe and comment below. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, hey, are you going to watch this or not? Is it a yay or nay for you? Tell us in the comments. Bye. Bye-bye.